episode 31 of Anime and Us Other. <laughs> I'm TJ. And I'm Sean. And this is the review show that reviews anime movies, kind of, sort of, whatever. Uh, yeah. The numbering's really off on this, so I don't know what's going on, so. We'll, we'll just... figure it out for the time after next. The movie numbers are all messed up. I just don't know what the numbers are anymore. So. Alright guys, so today we're doing Dragon Ball Z, A Lonesome Final Battle. The father of Z warrior son Goku, who challenged Frieza, also known in America and the rest of the f***ing world as Dragon Ball Z, Bardock, the father of Goku. No, <coughs> Sean. You know, that gotta go by the titles that are told. Yeah, I just read it out of order. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay some popular manga, Dragon Ball, blah, blah, blah. You know what the deal is. I just want to read when it, it came, released in 1990. So it's 23 years old, 33 years old. I can do math. 48 minutes long. So yeah, we're covering Bardock because... I screwed up last last week, and well, I guess it would have been the week before. It doesn't matter. The last movie we were supposed to we skipped the, it was supposed to be a movie. Then not this movie, which was supposed to be BoJack. Mm-hmm. But I told him Bardock, so he watched Bardock, and I watched BoJack. I should have said something because I read it, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure BoJack is the one I'm supposed to be watching. But he said Bardock. <laughs> I'll watch Bardock. So now we're gonna be covering both of them. So it's Bardock this week, BoJack next week, Bar- and. Because Bardock's not technically in the numbers order thing. We would have gotten to it eventually anyway, but mm. we're going to cover that right now. Go ahead, Sean. Wow, I should have left up the wiki for the plot and everything. Essentially. Oh, premise? Go ahead. Premise. The, the movie takes place with father's, uh, Goku's father mm-hmm. uh, before, obviously, uh, Frieza destroyed them all. And it's his story, the tail end of his story, honestly. It's not even his story because it's like it's a day before he dies. Yeah, kind of. And it's, there's, it, it's a day before he dies and the premise is he gets a premonition of the future and he wants to try and save the Saiyan race from Frieza. Yeah. And that's kind of it. That's the premise. So this is probably the only movie that's like canon, without canon issues. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't, you're not wrong. <laughs> it's just dumb. Well, yeah. I mean, it's dumb, but still. It's, I mean, it's, but it happens before anything, so they can't break canon. So. Yeah, that's true. And Frieza, from what I understand it, the ending was fairly similar. I don't, I don't, can't remember any notable differences between the tail end of the movie and what was shown in the TV show. Yeah, no. It, from what I understand, it was pretty much similar. I mean, it leads into Dragon Ball, the end of this movie, but, and I don't, I think it was a little different how it played out in the Dragon Ball series, like how he Maybe, found, maybe. But not, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, I mean, semantics at that point. Yeah, it's really nothing. Anyway, this movie's okay. I don't like it. I don't particularly hate it, I just don't like it. Yeah, like I said, it's okay. I mean, it's pretty much the Saiyans are getting stronger under Frieza, and then Frieza's like, I hate those monkeys, so kill them. Yeah, and he's still in his base form that blows him up with a simple energy blast that he can do in his base form, and it's like, okay, well, they weren't that strong then, like... Well, I don't. I didn't think he was worried about them now. I was thinking he was worried about them what they could be. Which. Yeah, sure, but that would be hundreds of years in the future if he thinks of it in terms of like how they're currently progressing power wise. Like they don't know about Super Saiyans, so like they're only getting minutely stronger compared to him. When they know about Super Saiyans, though, because of the there's legend. a legend, sure, but like none of them have done it. Mm, true, literally thousands of years. But it wouldn't have been. It's not hundreds of years. It's only like thirty years before. No, 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 and like no. Up to this point, they don't know. There's no recorded history of a Super Saiyan. It's just a legend. Well, no, my point is, you said it'd be hundred years before they get that strong. No, 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 no. But, but. Oh, but that's different. The, the, <laughs> those aren't the current Saiyans. Like Vegeta yeah, wouldn't I have know. gone Super Saiyan if he didn't meet Goku. That's true. right. A Super Saiyan wouldn't have been created if Goku wasn't raised on Earth. That's fair. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's just it's kind of dumb. All that being said, I don't really like prequels. So yeah, I mean, this one wasn't as as bad as the other of other prequels I can see because mostly prequels, it's like. It's using existing characters that you already know, and it has to get to a certain point. These are all characters we really don't care about, so who cares? Mm -hmm. So it's like, it it doesn't hurt anything. No, it doesn't hurt. Well, most for me, most prequels don't really hurt things. It's just, I don't see a point in it, because we know what's going to happen. And I know Bardock dies. Well, yeah. I know the planet Vegeta dies. Like, there's what's the point? You're not changing anything. No, you're just seeing what happens. I don't care about that. Some people do. It's in the history book. Okay, it was a f***. It happened. Learn from it in the sense of, like, you know what happens. But, like, I don't need a movie about it. It's not a movie. It's a special. Oh, what? 48 minutes. <laughs> it's not a movie. I don't know. I just, it, it's not, not for me. It's not numbered in the movie list. The movie starts out, Bardock and his crew are on some alien planet. Yeah, it's Bardock and his four no-name Saiyan friends. That die almost 
being immediately. One of them's a stereo is um, I was gonna say stereotypical, but one of them was a girl just because you know. Well, I mean, they're a warrior race too. Yeah, no, but I'm just, it was just funny to have you a know, fat, they have a fat guy, they have a girl. You know what's funny is like they have. I, I really don't like prequels, but like there's a chance for them to give like context to the Saiyan race and like how they lived and everything and. And they just don't do that. They, they, you know what they could have done? They could have put it back further. That's what they, yes. And they would have, what I just said, they would have given context to the same race and also actually given Bardock a story yeah. instead of, oh, I'm here, I'm dead. Yeah. And that would have, you know, let us see how they, they worked in mm-hmm. the Planet Vegeta and stuff like that. Was King Vegeta even in this up in this? Uh, he's referenced. I don't, even, I don't think we even get an image of him, if, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Because I, for some reason, I remember Bardock going into the Vegeta's throne room and pleading with him about Frida's uh, and him getting thrown out. But maybe I'm mis- remembering that somewhere. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, maybe. So yeah, so they open up and they're killing. What are they? Psychic aliens. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's how he gets like the future powers. Because Bardock needs future powers so that they can show scenes from Dragon Ball Z. Yes, <laughs> or Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. I think. Gotta promote the Goku main show. Goku fighting Vegeta and all that. Gotta promote the main show, you know? Mm-hmm. Come on, watch, go And then at the end, I think he sees Goku defeating Frieza. But I think, I can't remember. Yeah, he says he's, he remembers, he sees him doing, doing that, and he's... There's not much else to talk about, guys. This is it. There's a couple meaningless battles that Bardock has, but he wins them up until the end, and then there's like hundreds of the Frieza Force, and they're all coming after him. And then he gets up close to Frieza's face, and Frieza blasts him and Planet Vegeta, to, and that's it. That's it. Like, there's nothing else. There's that semi-boring scene of uh, when he first gets to Planet Vegeta to warn everyone to try and, like, gather up forces to go fight him. And he's, like, in a bar, and all the Saiyans are like, huh huh, look at Bardock. He just got the shit kicked out of him. Man, they all laugh at him. And I think he's crazy because he's talking about Frieza coming to kill him. Yeah, it... Wow. There isn't... I mean... Even, it's not even, like, you can't even talk about, like, the fight scenes, because they're not even that impressive. No, no, there's nothing. That's it. This is going to be a short podcast. We're done. <laughs> trying, it's a three. I'm trying to stretch it out to at least a few more minutes here. But yeah, it's it's a three, easily. Uh, and what do you, what about compared to the other movies? Is this the worst one, you think? For me, it is. I mean, objectively, I don't know. But for me, it definitely is. I'd rather watch any of the other movies that we've even, seen so even far. Even Brawly? Uh, yeah, because, you know, there's somewhat semi-interesting, like, fight scenes, at least. That's it. That's more than this. Yeah, I mean, it, to be fair, though, those uh, the other movies are held up by the fact that you have characters that you, you like, you've been yeah, with. Yeah, true. That is true. Whereas but, this- again, like, you know this character doesn't have that. So put more time and effort into it. Right. No, I mean, but that's like, what I mean. Give me, like, give me an hour and a half, right? You yeah. can still make it a TV special. F- it's an hour. What's the difference between 48 minutes and an hour and a half? Who cares? And just give me more time with the character. No, you didn't. <laughs> like, it's, it's bad writing. It, it felt like a bunch of, hey, look, Frieza's here. Hey, look, play yeah. Vegeta. Look, at look, look. Mm-hmm. We, we know stuff here. <laughs> um, that's it. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Next one will be a little longer. I promise. Uh, well, yeah. So we're going to be covering Bojack next episode because of our little mess up last week. And then we'll get back to our wheel thing that we've been doing. That's taken us a long time to get through. Now we covered a we've been covering a lot of movies. Yeah, but yeah. So yeah, as for that, that's Bojack, I guess. All right, guys. See you next episode. DBZ Bojack on my own. Wait, no, no, it's not. Oh, whatever. I don't care. See ya.